Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2 K21. This course is called Mount St. Mary's Golf Club. And as you can see from the screen on the left there, it uh, looks like this could be the first round to be played on the PlayStation. So uh, I'm going for the blue tees at 6,930 yards and those are the back tees. Um, and you can see there, medium default, firm, firm, fast. And the default weather conditions was afternoon and light cloud. So let's head down to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, so the opening hole is a medium length par four into the wind it's quite a narrow fairway and we've got that water hazard there on the right hand side Quite a small green here. 132, slightly uphill, so it's going to be playing about 135. In, into that wind. Just notice that's a nice little touch. Can you see there? There's the the signpost to the next tee, and there's a a path that's been cut in the grass using different length grass to to get down to the next tee that's a really nice touch really nice attention to detail the ball is ever so slightly below my feet here Nice opening birdie. Quickly looking at the scorecard there, we've got a par five at the seventh, so only one par five on the front nine. The second is a par three, it's about 170 yards. Small target again. Water hazard just to the right of the green, bunk on the left. Tricky little shot this one. Oh, that's gone long, unfortunately. Yeah, I misjudged that one. couple of swans there in the in the pond it's a nice touch as well oh not quite really nice setting for a golf course from what I've seen of it so far the third hole is a, a short par four I don't think I can drive it but I if I hit a good one I could get quite close I might hit a touch of fade on this just a little bit
That's looking nice. Oh, that took a horrible bounce to the left. Managed to stay on the fairway, though. I've just noticed that little sign there as well. Please keep carts 15 feet from the greens. That's a really nice touch. I don't think I've seen those signs on a on a course within the game before, so that's really good. Well done. Another par four. Back into the breeze. Just managed to stay on the fairway there. Another small green. Just notice that sign as well at danger, deep water. Really nice attention to detail. Now this is back into the wind, so this is going to be playing a bit longer. So we've got 117. Let's try that. Oh, I've hit that one slow. Where's that going to end up? That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Stay there. Just a little bit of left to right break on this one. I've hit that too. That's just bleh. <laughs> That's just shocking. Hit that far too hard. Not to worry. Just a par. Right, on to the fifth hole. Another par four. It's under 400 yards. Quite a strong wind behind, which means that that water hazard you can see on the left there is potentially reachable off the tee. We have a look at the book. Uh, we've got roughly 334 yards in the safe zone. Anything longer than that is going to get wet, I think. So I'm going to stick with the driver, but I'm going to take a lot of the loft off it so that it doesn't travel as far. Just notice the toilet hut on the left-hand side there. Ah, uh, I think I've been lucky there and got away with that one. That was a bad swing. Hmm, I've got options here. I can either pitch this or play a normal shot. I'm going to try the pitch. Could do with some spin. There we go. I can stop now.
We've got a dog leg here at the sixth. Another small green. I like the fact that the greens are small, to be honest with you, because the holes aren't overly long. So it gives you that... Um, uh, it gives you a bit more of a challenge hitting into a small target. So I think that's a nice, a nice feature of the course. Now we've got a 10 mile an hour wind off the right. Now we've got the par five. Ooh, now then we've got got to be careful here. As you can see, it's quite a narrow fairway and we've got water either side. So this is going to need a really good swing. I think that should be perfect. Yeah, that's a nice drive. Two hundred and well, slightly uphill, so it's going to be playing about two thirty eight. It's not coming back on the wind as much as I thought it was going to. That's a shame. Ah, oh, that is a shame. Never mind. Now, this is a very shallow bunker, so I could chip this one. Not a very good lie, 74 to 82 percent. Yeah, that's okay. surrounding this green at the par 3 8th it's a nice looking hole hundred and fifty nine yards into the breeze I'm gonna hit a seven iron but I'm gonna increase the loft to shorten the distance a bit Be a bit long, I think. Yes, it is just a tad. Mm -hmm. 
It's a nice chip. Onto the final hole of the front nine. Par four. Wow, this is a really short one. 298 yards. Okay, well, it's certainly drivable, but a water hazard on the left to be careful of. And we've got those trees as well that are protecting the route. So I think I'm going to try a big draw here and just see if I can take it around those trees. Oh, I've hit it slow. Uh, it's not... Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, not great. Very heavy rough. Flop shot is probably the way to go here. Not easy to judge this. Flag is only a few paces on the green. Oh, I've hit that too hard. That's a shame. I'm not out of the woods yet either. Yeah, that. I know it's a par, but it kind of feels like a bogey because it's such a short par four. But I made a bit of a mess of the tee shot. Now then, we've got another short par four here at at the 10th 330 uh, 335 if you include the elevation wind behind a good drive here and I could get very close to this green but it will need a very good swing Now, with a friendly bounce, this could be good. Slow down now. Ah, it's going to run away. Very heavy rough as well. And again, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Heavy rough being so close to the green because they're not long holes. So I think if you had light rough so close to the green it would kind of make it a bit too easy so I like the fact that they've done that We've got three par fives on the back nine, I've just noticed. Oh dear, that's a bad swing. Oh, that was an incredibly lucky bounce. Oh dear. Well, I hit a slow tee shot 
and a fast approach shot. Not good. Another nice chip. Maybe that's what I should keep doing. Just miss the green and then chip in. I wouldn't have to putt then. <laughs> now then, what have we got here at 12? We've got par four. Fairly straight, narrow fairway. Wind off the left. And that tree there protecting that left hand side as well. So tricky one here to hit the fairway. Gonna hit a draw to try and hold it in that wind. Ah, uh, that's gonna run into the bunker, I think. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Not to worry. 54 yards to go. Not a great lie. Nice up and down from the bunker. So here's the first of the three par fives on the back nine. 13th hole. It's quite a long one too. 585. Another public toilet on the right hand side there. The course designers certainly catered for the crowds on this one. I suppose when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> now 280. Oh, it's tempting. I'm gonna hit a driver here. a big bounce go on chase on no not bad ah uh, not a very good chip A nice run of birdies on the back nine. So we've got a par three now at 14. It's a long one too. 260 yards. Oh, that's a absolutely shocking swing that's diabolical I don't know what I was thinking when I hit that one struggling for par now it's about 29 yards but coming out of really heavy rough Ah, 
Actually, what I might do here. Hmm. I'm not sure actually. It's kind of it's kind of in between clubs to a point. This might be a bit long. No, that's a good shot. I'm happy with that. That house in the background there looks a little bit lonely. Okay, another par five. A bit shorter than the last one, 547. rough here looks a little bit sparse I think I would have liked to see maybe a few more trees going down that left hand side I think I'm gonna try a risky shot here I think I'm gonna hit the hybrid but I'm gonna hit a big hook No, I've overdone it. Yeah, not a not a great swing there. O overdid the hook, and that, plus I hit it a bit slow as well, so not a great shot at all there. But not to worry. It's a par five, and I'm close to the green. Should have brought my my butterfly net. I could have caught the butterflies on the greens. <laughs> now then, we've got a short par four here. No real hazards to worry about off the tee, as long as I hit a reasonable swing. Swing plane was a bit off there, but never mind, it's not too far away. And now the other par five at seventeen. Now this is back into the wind, so this is going to be playing quite a bit longer.
all is a little bit above my feet here. Unlucky. Again, heavy rough. 68 to 75%. Not sure whether to club up here actually, because that is slightly downhill there. Clumsy. Nice little birdie to finish with. Oh no, sorry, I've got one more hole to go. Sorry, I thought that was the last hole. So we've got a par 3 18 to finish with. It's a nice little par three, 138. I think what I would have been inclined to have done here, but this is only my personal opinion, because it is such a short par three, um, and you've got this big area here where you could potentially lay up if you wanted to, I would have, I think, put a green side bunker in just around here, I think, just to make it that little bit more of a challenge. So we've got 138 slightly downhill. didn't check to see if there was an upslope there. Oh, that was close. I really like that. It was a it was a really pleasant course to play. It wasn't too challenging. Um, it had some nice attention to details. I like the fact because the course was shorter that it had um, smaller greens and heavy rough close to the greens as well to give it that bit more of a challenge. So uh, congratulations to the course designer. Well done. Really enjoyed that. I would recommend you play that. Um, and I think it'd be interesting as well to play the play the course with high winds as well because obviously that would increase the challenge so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my channel i'd really really appreciate it so take care everyone and i will see you again soon bye bye